Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, what are they thinking and feeling? Okay, so what is your person thinking about? What are they feeling about you, your connection? Uh, we'll see whatever comes through, okay? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. appreciate you all being here as well. Anyone interested in a private reading? There will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video. Also keep in mind these are general readings, okay? So not all messages that come through will resonate for everyone. Only take what fits with your intuition and leave the rest behind, okay? So today, first, I want to give a special shout out to one of my beautiful subscribers and private reading clients, Amy, for donating this beautiful deck to the channel that I'll be using in today's reading. It is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Beautiful deck. So thank you, Amy, again for this beautiful gift. I truly do appreciate you. So for crystal number one, today we have the Clear Quartz Crystal with the six of fire okay for crystal number two we have the pyrite crystal with the wisdom card and for crystal number three we have the black obsidian crystal with the hero card okay so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most and i will see you in your reading if you resonated with crystal number one the clear quartz crystal and the six of fire this will be your reading okay so we have the six of fire out first for you crystal number one so I feel like your person is feeling like this will be a success. There may be some compromise necessary um, in your connection to make it a success, but they're feeling like things will work out is kind of what I'm getting there. Okay, let's see what else we have. The nine of fire. Hmm. So they're feeling a little bit wounded by something. Um, could be something in their life they're trying to work through so there's something in your person's life right now that I feel they're trying to work through there's something kind of like hurting them right now like not hurting them physically but like hurting them emotionally could be a decision you know I saw the two did I just see that? I did, didn't I? The two of, no, maybe not. Okay. I thought I saw the two of air, which is the two of swords. I do feel like it's something to do with a decision there. <laughs> okay. I thought I just saw the two of swords, uh, two of air in this deck. Um, maybe I just seen it before it comes out, but <laughs> um, that happens sometimes. I definitely feel like it's something to do with a decision. Let's see. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? What are they thinking and feeling? Eight of water. So, mm, yeah, a feeling. Yeah, they could be feeling a little bit unsure. But knowing, okay, so unsure, but knowing. So they're a little uncertain about a path ahead, but they need to walk away from something with the aid of water here. They may be Yeah, decision. That could be the decision. Okay, let's see what else. For crystal number one. What do we have here? The Eight of Earth. Yeah, I have to kind of pay attention for imagery too. I almost forgot. Um, Eight of Earth. Okay. So yeah, hard work paying off. Kind of what I feel here. Like they feel there's something to do with like a compromise or something like that, but they feel like it's going to be, you know, 
a victory, successful, your connection, hard work paying off. So they could be putting in a lot of inner work or this could be work in the physical as well. Um, feeling very abundant though. So they're feeling very abundant too. So they could be working on their financial stability as well. Some sort of decision with that nine of, okay, let's see. What else? Why the six of, oh yeah, wow, look at this abundance. <laughs> That's funny, I just said it. It's actually on the six of fire, the abundance card. So yeah, this could be, maybe this compromise has to do with something to do with their finances. This card, you know, I read intuitively, right? So in the debt, the, the book doesn't necessarily translate to how it connects with me. Um, but this card, um, if I remember correctly, in the book did have to do with mediation. I feel like your person is having some sort of a financial situation in their life, some sort of financial decision that's really going to pay off one way or the other. Um, could have to do with mediation. I'm almost feeling like division of assets here, a compromise. Could be from a past situation, okay? But abundance is going to come from it. So they're feeling very abundant. So I feel like whatever is happening, that could be that. That's why this indecision, maybe. It could be like, well, if I do this way, then, you know, it'll be good. If I do this way, it's going to be even better. You know, it's something like that, but it's something to do with their finances. So I feel like your person is really trying to create some sort of financial foundation or stability here. Okay. Let's see. What else are they thinking and feeling? Hmm. Nice. So that was King of Fire. So very passionate about you. Okay. They're extremely passionate about you. Um, they could have been, this is something to do with wounding, but I'm feeling like this has to do with this here, this financial. Um, they're extremely passionate about you. So I feel like this is like following that passion. Okay. Um, following what they like following their bliss almost okay with this card is what I'm getting um moving past wounding so they could have been in a situation in the past that they weren't passionate about anymore they kind of you know it ran its course you know it really um it ran its course, you know, it just, it no longer served them. Okay. And now they're moving away from that. So, and this wounding, I feel having to do with financial, I feel like this could be a lot about their financial situation, but they're extremely passionate about you and wanting to move toward you with abundance. So I feel like they're wanting to come to toward you, like I said, as a very stable solid foundation okay eight of water whoa is it this one i think it's that one eight of water okay so queen of earth oh queen of pentacles nice so they see you as very stable mm. okay that could be you know you might be um a little more stable maybe than your person financially okay um, there may have been maybe feelings of lack on their part, meaning like, or unworthiness, like maybe you, you know, like make more money than them or something like that. And they were feeling maybe um, less than or not worthy because you were doing so well for yourself or something. And I feel like now with these energies coming through, it's like they're making a decision about their abundance for some of you, I feel like this has someone else involved with this card. But anyway, so yeah, feeling like you are more stable in yourself. You're, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is very stable, very loving and nurturing as well, but very 
financially secure, you know, very like they take care of themselves. Okay. So I feel like that's, that could be that indecision that was coming through. They know they have to walk away from their past, even if it doesn't mean abundance is there yet, I feel. Okay, so they're kind of like in this middle place is what I'm feeling. But with the Eight of Pentacles there, I feel like it's going to pay off and then they're going to feel great because abundance came out here. So if it's kind of like your person's at indecision because they're like, does Crystal number one, like, are they going to accept me even though, right? So, yeah, I definitely feel like they were doubting themselves, okay? Like doubting their worth because of something financial. I don't know. It's a lot about financial here in this reading. Okay, let's get more. Eight of Pentacles or Eight of Earth, sorry. It's it's a new deck and it's the same, you know, there's a lot of different cards though. If you if you watch readings where I do these, you're gonna see there's multiple um extra cards in each minor arcana and also in the major arcana, they're not the same. So it's very it took me a couple months like to even connect with the deck um, because there was a lot going on in it. So let me see what we have. We have two for the Eight of Earth. Let me put those down. Okay. Oh, wow. This is the Emperor. Like the Emperor. Okay. It's the Emperor energy to me. Okay. The Father. Wow. Very good. Destiny. Whoa. Oh. Oh, boy. All right. This is good. Crystal number one. So your person is feeling strong enough to move forward here they may have been feeling inadequate here like i was saying right there may have been feelings of confusion uncertainty some sort of mediation that really kind of resolves something of their financial situation brings in abundance and then your person is feeling like i got this you know like the energy that i always tell you guys you got this you know that's what i'm feeling with this and destiny coming through i feel like this means that they think that your relationship is part of their destiny where they belong the father is the divine masculine energy for me um yeah wow powerful okay so that ended powerfully <laughs> all right part of your destiny very nice. Okay. We're going to get some Oracle out and see as well. Let's see what's up with this. I think that this here is huge. The first card out too. So it's kind of, I think it, it means a lot to something that's taking place. Some sort of a choice or path. Yeah. All right. Let's get Oracle cards out here. What is Crystal number one's person? feeling and thinking oh, can't show you the imagery healing imagine yourself and your your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment mm. so it's been a very healing relationship they feel very strongly for you they feel like you're their destiny with destiny and the father coming through together they feel like you're part of their destiny and know that it'll be successful so the love that you share has been very healing to this person, has really helped them to rise, okay, in their own power. They may have come from, you know, a lot of wounding, and now they've really healed. So that's very, very good. So they feel like you are healing. Your energy is very healing. What else for crystal number one, please? We have two. Hmm, cute. Mmm, <laughs> magic. Mmm, magic maker and purification. Yeah, they feel like this connection is magic. Um, they feel, yeah, wow. They feel purification is really good as well. They feel like they've, they've healed, you know, they've really balanced their energy out. Um, they're feeling ready now i feel like there was definitely a period of indecision here and, and and of course this could be happening not 
all of this is happening at once but the because the energy is very fluid obviously um, this could be kind of going on right now and then they keep on rising right and of course not all messages will resonate either remember that magic maker though they're feeling like this is magic there's some sort of mystery here it's like how do you do that <laughs> like, I don't know what that means but it means something to someone how do you do that um, like finishing sentences hmm, finishing sentences purification so feeling very pure in your energy hmm. this person is very very um, energetically connected to you I feel very energetically connected could be talking about a, a soulmate or twin flame with destiny as well and with the divine masculine energy whoa we have three here empowered nostalgia yeah see that's kind of what i was feeling here overthinking there was a back and forth an indecision and uncertainty you know and i feel like at some point here this person may they may still you know get into periods of you know healing isn't a linear journey it's an ongoing journey it's not a straight line and i feel like there definitely are periods of overthinking in this person that's kind of what i hear yeah, kind of getting that okay like back and forth you know thinking thinking things through but then feeling with the heart space and knowing and then oh back to uncertainty very up and down nostalgia so they feel again like past life possibly connection they're feeling something from your past here is very important and empowered that's that emperor energy so they are feeling very empowered as well um they're getting there okay if you if this is your person here right now they're getting there they're on their way let's see what else what is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling so I feel like they may, like I said, think things through to a little too much sometimes. Yes, look at this. Purification, they're finding a balance. Good. But they may overthink, but then they pull it back in. And they might meditate a lot. They might spend a lot of time alone, this person. Um, they're finding a balance, so that's good. Okay? They like I said, could be meditating and really kind of clearing their energy. You know, I'm noticing there's some chakras lit up here, throat chakra, heart chakra, you know, um, all the way up. So they could be clearing their chakras, doing energy work, things like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, a message coming through here. Sacral chakra. Okay, so sacral wounding here. Okay, it could be sexual trauma, something like that, that they were they had gone through in the past. There could be maybe a fear of intimacy there as well. Because the passion came out here. Very, very passionate about you, though. Mm, birds of a feather flew out here. Oh, I didn't mean to say it that way, but kind of sounded funny. Flew out. The birds flew out. And that is about soulmates, okay? So they feel like you're their soulmate. They do feel a deep soul bond to you. With destiny coming through, they definitely feel like this is meant to be. Now let's get more for crystal number one. We have contemplation. Yes, definitely feel like they do that, okay? D back and forth. Um, meditating, contemplating. Um, there's some sort of mediation for some of you. Um, coming to a common ground. Mm. Yeah, working something out. And I feel like that has something to do with those finances. It might not, not for all of you, okay? It could be something else um, for your person. But there's definitely like a compromise and then feeling like there's success uh, in, in this relationship. And with abundance coming out here too, they really do feel like this could be, you know, very power couple energy between you. Okay, abundance of love, material things, all of the things, you know. Harvest time. Okay, let's get more for crystal number one. What are they person thinking and feeling? 
release. Yeah, so they're releasing something. They're walking away from some of you, not all of you, but they're walking away from something in their life, right? Could be something that, again, could it even have to do with a job, this, okay? It definitely could. It could be them walking away and releasing a job. You know, since it's so surrounding financial, it could be a marriage or a connection where there was a lot of shared assets, okay? There's a lot of things that are coming through. But they're releasing something. So they are feeling that need to move forward. <coughs> Contemplating next moves with contemplation. I feel like definitely they meditate a lot. The fates, nice, beautiful. Yeah, they definitely feel like you're meant to be. They definitely feel like you're meant to be, okay, with the fates coming through as well. This is your person. They feel like you're their person. They think you're amazing, too, with that Queen of Earth. They really do respect you. Adjacent possibilities, yeah. So looking at all the options... That was what, there was two options here for this person. I remember this way would be good and that way would be better, right? So they're looking at all the possibilities. So they're working through something in their life. Um, and again, it might not be financial for all of you. This could be energetic because energetic work came through as well. Remember that, right? Healing came through. So this could be inner work even, okay? Paying off. Okay, two different approaches. Right. Yeah, it could be a lot of different things, but they're definitely looking at all the possibilities. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? Ooh, true love. Nice. Beautiful energy coming through here. True love. So, yep, yeah, you are the one. This love is once in a lifetime. They feel like you're the one. Absolutely. Let's get more for crystal number one. What is their person thinking and feeling, please? This card almost flew away. Do not hide your light. Yeah, keep shining brightly. They love your light. <laughs> they want you to continue shining brightly. With or without them, continue shining. Your light shows me the way. You're helping this person to heal. You are. You're helping this person to heal something okay a lot of different things coming through so it could be a different for everyone here um but there's a lot of different things that are coming through for healing so i feel like they're definitely healing something what else for crystal number one What is their person thinking and feeling? Focus on the positive. So they're trying to look at the positive side of things. They're trying to definitely um, overcome negativity with positivity. Okay, so they're trying to focus on what they want and not on what they don't want. Which is good. They feel like you are a very positive force in their life as well. Elevation, you've helped them to rise. And patience, you're very patient. They appreciate that and they respect you. Okay. So those came through kind of rapid fire. But yeah, you help them to rise with elevation. Okay, you really do... Um, Again, your light shining brightly, you help them to heal. Okay, and then respect. They do respect you, as I said here. And patience. They feel like you're very kind, compassionate, and patient as well. All right, let's get more. For crystal number one. Oh, wait, wasn't... Oh, yeah, I'll do this. Crystal number one, I think I was going to do the message cards. But I will do those too after this one reconciliation so for some of you this could be someone coming back into your life we did have past life connection here or it could be um a soulmate or twin flame returning maybe after a break or something like that 
They are feeling like they want to reconcile though. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? Unlimited possibilities. I thought it said potential. Unlimited possibilities. So yeah, they're seeing all the options and they're seeing that you, I said power couple, right? It's kind of what they're feeling. Like this could be a power couple um, pairing, very successful connection. Let's see what else. What are they thinking and feeling? Date. So they're wanting to ask you out on a date. They might be planning something. They could be asking you to meet up somewhere. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, another energy of meditation and contemplation. So I feel like this means your person is definitely trying to make a next move or something like that. Okay, let's get some message cards from them. All right, we did the message card reading yesterday, so maybe some of these will connect um, with you again today. If you know we have the same messages, you'll know they're for you, or your person's energy might have shifted. Okay, let's see what we have for message cards today. What is crystal number one's person thinking and feeling? Or what would they like to say either way? I always check your social media and pray you haven't moved on from me. Okay, so your patience, someone being patient, you're being patient with someone. They're paying attention <laughs> to your social media, hoping that you're still there. That could be someone holding space. You might be holding space for this person to work through whatever they're working through. You will be hearing from me soon. So communication coming, okay? Could be about this situation that they're going through. Could be about their feelings for you. As the emperor energy, they are very strong in knowing what they want, okay? And disciplined, putting action into, you know, plans into action, Please be patient and don't forget about the love we share. Another message about patience for some of you. And it's falling right over this card here where they were kind of uncertain. So it may take some time for them to work through that. What else for crystal number one? Whoa, two in a row. That was fast and they flew out together. I'm going to take them together. I don't know why, but you are so important to me. I want to be with you forever. Okay, so they came out flying right back to back with each other. So infinity symbol there as well. I'm going to keep them together over here. Yeah, so they want to be with you forever. There's an infinity symbol for anyone looking for signs or something like that. I love you as you are. Yeah, they accept you as you are as well. They love and accept you just as you are. They respect you. They look up to you. They, they think you're amazing with that queen of pentacles there what else being in your presence makes me nervous so for some of you they might be a little bit nervous in your presence um like i was saying there was some feelings at some point of kind of like inadequacy or something like that there could be fears of intimacy as well so they get a little bit nervous one more please for crystal number one what would their person like to say? I pray you will give me a second chance. Yeah, so for some of you, that reconciliation card, um, they could be coming back, someone coming back. And it's falling right over destiny and the father energy, which is the divine masculine. So that could be, for you twin flames out there, that could be an indication that your twin flame is hoping that you'll give them a second chance. Okay. All right, crystal number one. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the pyrite crystal and the wisdom card, this will be your reading. Oh, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number two. So with wisdom, um, hermiting away. So there could be a distance, okay, right now with your person. First one out, wisdom. So we'll see what else comes through for crystal number two, please. 
what other person feeling and thinking? What is crystal number two's person feeling and thinking? Whoa. Wow. The mother. This is like the empress energy for me, okay? Um, as you guys know, I read intuitively. So I took a couple months and tried to connect with the cards in my own way. I don't always go exactly by book readings or book meanings or anything like that. So um, just so you know okay um the mother card is the empress for me okay um definitely feeling like they feel you're loving and nurturing beautiful absolutely beautiful they think you're very attractive um inside and out beautiful okay sorry i'm just gonna fix that because it keeps looking like it's gonna fall and i'm making it worse <laughs> okay there we go <laughs> Um, so yeah, they feel like you're very beautiful, loving, nurturing, peaceful, really look up to you and respect you with that, uh, mother card. So it's like the Empress energy, obviously in this deck, it's the mother. Forgive me if I call the cards the wrong names because I'm used to the traditional tarot. This is not the traditional tarot. So, um, just kind of difficult to see. We have the Ace of Air here. Beautiful. So, wow. So they're wanting a new start. They're clear on this, okay? They're feeling like ready. Uh, some sort of clarity moment coming in for your person where they're feeling clear that they want a new start here with you. Okay, let's see what else. For crystal number two. Thank you. That was fast. We had two together. Two and three. Ooh. Mmm. Two and three of water. Nice. So union, celebration. Wow. Mm, feeling joyful. Wow. This person could have been doing a lot of inner work. This is huge energy here. This person could have been doing a lot of inner work with this hermit. Okay. For to gain this clarity. This is about union, the two of water, okay, coming together, a divine connection, could even be a twin flame we're talking about, okay, um, and the three of water. So this is about celebrations, being joyful. Um, as I said, I, you know, I read the book and sometimes some of the meanings connect for me and sometimes they don't, but yeah, there are, um, definitely feeling like this person is wanting to celebrate your love. This is beautiful, beautiful energy, especially to come out together like that. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to get more. We'll get clarifiers on those as well. Actually, I can just put that like that. There we go. This wisdom card. So I feel like your person did a lot of inner work. Okay, stopped in my tracks because of this card. This was crystal number one's main card. And it's coming through for you. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, lots of healing. So this is about compromise, okay? Mediation, but victory as well. Success, you know, coming to a, an agreement, you know? So victory. I feel like wisdom. This person has gained a lot of inner wisdom about you, your connection. They've gained clarity, they may have had to compromise something in their life, okay, um, or change something in their life in order to allow for this new beginning, for this union, okay? But I feel like they feel that this is very going to be very victorious, okay? Very victorious. Okay, let's get more with the mother card, please. So they're feeling like you're extremely beautiful, loving, nurturing, kind compassionate um they respect you they love you with the the you know the empress card unconditional love this is beautiful two of cups three of cups like such beautiful energy for you oh emotions nice so yeah they're deep in their emotions right now and i feel like maybe they can't speak about it <laughs> they might have had a blockage okay they might have had a throat chakra blockage um, because as I was about to, I had to put the card down and pause the video and hopefully I make it where it doesn't look too obvious for you guys or too distracting. Um, but I have to clear my throat. I couldn't speak. So I feel like these might be emotions coming out. 
They might be emotions being expressed, okay? Very, very possible. After gaining some wisdom about or some clarity during this time away, distance, some sort of clarity on a new start. Okay, let's get more. Ace of um, Air. See, I think I called it Swords before. I don't know. If I do, you know what I mean. Ace of Air <laughs> is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so let's get more. And you'll see this deck is really cool and different though. It has like extra water, like extra minor arcana cards and the major arcana is different as well. So it's really cool though. Ace of Swords or Ace of Air, please. For crystal number two, how is their person thinking? What are they feeling? How are they thinking? No, how are they feeling and what are they thinking? <laughs> Can't speak. Yeah, literally, I feel like this is emotions. They're going to be pouring out. Telling you all of the things. Did you hear all of those things that came through? It was like rapid coming out, right? So I feel like they're wanting to gush, you know, their emotions to you. Very nice. Oh, finally. Yeah. Whoa, we have Queen of Fire. Yes. So they are passionate about you as well. Very, very passionate. You're magnet you're magnetizing them in. Very, very magnetic. Um they've seen you transform. Green eyes. Woo, something about the green eyes here. This cat is really popping out to me. Orange cat and green eyes. Um, they've seen you transform. They think you're absolutely stunning. They're very passionate about you. You're very, very um, confident, passionate, sensual, enticing. Wow. Lots of messages there. So they're clear. They want you. Okay. I'm going to tell you now. And if the message card comes out later, I'll laugh. But I want you is what I'm getting here. They want you in their life. And they feel you're going to be quite a successful pair. Empress energy. That's divine feminine energy. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get more. Two of cups. Uh, two of water. Three of water, please. Two of water. Three of water. Okay, we have. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let me grab a different card <laughs> to kind of cover it a little bit. Yeah, how's that gonna work? Okay, I'll just do this for now. It is <laughs> this is difficult. All right, it's union. Um, the card that came out is union. I can't really show you the um, imagery on it, but the card is union. So union on union. Two of cups, two of water is about union. I'll just flip it over and put it there. Um, hmm interesting how the card from the top of the deck that I used to cover up union is the two of fire and this is about working together this card hmm could be mirroring each other too hmm interesting well I don't well I could put that there for pretty imagery but it's over the union card there you go um yeah, they're feeling like union is what they want, what this person is desiring. Okay, they're wanting to spill emotions, come together in union, double energies of that. That's huge. And wanting to celebrate that love as well. Really wanting to, again, just be in love and allow very, very beautiful energy coming through for you today, crystal number two. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number two. Okay, this one here. Beautiful heart shining out there as well. Only time will tell. Okay, so working on something could be taking some time. Knowing that time will tell. So feel like there's things happening. Maybe slowly with that card it may be happening slowly but they're getting to this point of clarity and w knowing what they want 
knowing what they want to achieve success you know let's get more for crystal number two what is that person thinking and feeling we have two we have guardian yeah so they're very protective of you as well very protective of you and this connection keeping you safe oh synchronicity very nice so they could be seeing signs and synchronicities at this time pointing them toward you as well i'm gonna stick these two together the cute little kitties yeah they could be um seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities um showing them you're on the right path it's going to be a success this is the way to go you know come this way <laughs> you know do this you know like little nudges from the universe okay let's get more for crystal number two Woo. that was fast there's two we have passion and reunion nice yeah there's a lot of passion and reunion is all over the place in this reading so this person is really feeling the coming back together and they're extremely passionate about you extremely passionate all right that's that let's try to put this deck back <laughs> next for crystal number two please is that the one no i didn't feel like it i barely even moved the deck and i think it just fell what is crystal number two's person thank you thinking and feeling clear your mind yeah so they i feel like they definitely cleared their mind they put a lot of inner work here so much has been accomplished so much and they've gained a lot of clarity uh clearing out that mind you know the mind can be overactive mm. your person might have had overactive mind like overthinking at some point okay because overactive mind coming through there let's see what else what is crystal number two's person thinking and feeling what is crystal number two thank you call of the music calling you in energetically yeah so you could be feeling their energy kind of pulling i know they're feeling your energy pulling maybe this is them feeling like you're pulling them in they might be feeling remember how i said you're magnetic right here they might be feeling that saying like crystal number two is like really magnetic not they're saying that but they're feeling that they're like i really want to go and like get to them you know and they're feeling that pull with this card and it you could be doing it back and forth you could be feeling a pull from them as well like you might be feeling little things like in your heart chakra you might be feeling little pulls on your heart tugging on your heart let's see i feel like you're definitely at a lot of energetic connection going on here for a lot of you i feel like this could be your twin flame for sure of course only you will know that but let's see what else for crystal number two what are their person thinking and feeling memories looking back at the past could be looking at your photos too um i see someone on their phone looking at a lot of photos scrolling left like that looking at a bunch of them hmm interesting so yeah they're definitely focused on you um you know if they are still at a distance they're definitely still focused on you thinking about you a lot i feel and i i feel dreaming connecting in 5d there's a lot going on here okay let's see what else for crystal number two what is their person thinking thank you purification nice happy happy joy joy <laughs> very happy they feel happy when they think about you and this clearing of their energy they're clearing their mind they're really going inward they're 
being still, being in the present moment, really purifying the energy within. So this is really good that they're feeling that purity, that peaceful, happy, happy, joy, joy too. That's great that they're feeling that um, when they think of you. Okay, when they look at your picture, when they think of being with you, when they think of this union, you know, it makes them happy, joyful. What else for crystal number two, please? What is their person thinking and feeling for crystal number two? I actually ended up putting extra cards into this reading. I ended up getting like four different cards that I didn't even have planned. <laughs> and I just started shuffling. So I was like, all right, I guess we're going to use these. Truth be told, what did I tell you about that emotions card? I knew it. Here it comes. It's coming. The mask is coming off. So if this is a person that's been denying their feelings, they're going to deny their feelings no more. Okay. It's coming. They want to express it's going to come out like a river. There's so much they have to say. Mm. Card 14. Angel of love. They love you so deeply. They feel like you're an angel. Like you've helped them to heal. You love them like no other. This is deep love. Unconditional love beautiful they love you very much yeah you're like an angel to them very very special very important they know you're a good fit too they know you're a good match all right let's get more for crystal number two what is that person thinking and feeling okay i think we have two we have that one and that one Simple act of kindness, simple acts of kindness and turn on your heart light. Oh, yeah. So they're hoping they're thinking that you may be open and receptive to them. They're hoping that you will be reflect on a time when you experienced love. So they're reflecting on times when you experienced love together and simple acts of kindness. I feel like with this card, they're wanting to give to you. They're wanting to do something. They're wanting to reciprocate. Um, show you kindness, you know, communication, energy, you know, effort, things like that. An act of kindness, though. So it could be even bringing you a small gift or something like that. Um, they just want to be kind to you. They'll treat you very kind. This person really cares deeply is what I'm feeling here. Okay, let's get more for crystal number two. What is that person thinking and feeling? Okay. I don't think it can be all of those. <laughs> There's so many. This one flipped. I'm going to take that one and this one. Okay. And that one. I wasn't going to take that one, but I'm told to take that one too. So a little blessing. Um, the littlest blessing. So they're feeling extremely grateful for you. Okay. Time to move on. Hmm. So they, for some of you, that could be um, something that they have to move on from, right? To whatever this was here, there was some sort of compromise, all right? So they know now this transformation only happens when we release our past, when we, even the clearing of, you know, your energy, there was a clearing of energy going on. Them clearing their energy will help to move forward right so time to move on i feel is definitely moving forward wanting to move forward in this connection into this transformation they've noticed your transformation and i feel like they have transformed themselves okay this big huge butterfly carrying that little creature right beautiful and the littlest blessing is they're just grateful they're absolutely just grateful for you they feel very blessed to have you in their life beautiful let's get one of these as well for crystal number two how's their person thinking or feeling death is an illusion hmm. so yeah so re 
removing themselves from separation consciousness so unity consciousness so they've really raised their vibration that's why wisdom come out here as well they're really seeing the oneness in all things mm, so that is very good they're seeing the oneness that connection knowing that we're all connected knowing that separation is an illusion as well okay for yeah separation is an illusion big one there coming through okay what else is crystal number two's person thinking and feeling so they've reached a level of unity consciousness instead of being um separation consciousness duality you know Harmony. Yeah, it doesn't want to fall out, but there it is. Harmony. Very nice. So they're feeling peaceful. Okay. You're able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Look at that. Coming right out after death is an illusion. That's that unity consciousness that I was just feeling. Let's get more. For crystal number two, please. What is their person thinking and feeling? There we go. This could be the one nice, beautiful message coming through here. So they feel like you're their person. You know, you're very special, very important. They feel like you're the one for them. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Very nice. What else? Omens. So they've seen signs and synchronicities about you, this connection. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, having, I'm struggling over here. There we go <laughs> with these cards. Okay. So yeah, they've seen signs and synchronicities, um, omens pointing them toward you and this connection. Very connected to the universe here. So their angels and their guides showing them the way. Well, what else for crystal number two? What are they thinking and feeling about crystal number two? What is crystal number two's person thinking and feeling? What is crystal number two's person? I thought it was coming out, but it didn't. We have mirror. Nice. So yeah, you're mirroring each other. I kind of felt that with that two, two of fire here. You're mirroring each other. So it could be, like I said, it could be soulmates or twin flames. Um, let's see what this says. Self-image relationships reflecting introspection yeah so they definitely definitely were doing a lot of introspection okay that's the first card out the main card um for your reading was the wisdom card so they've definitely done a lot of introspection um but for some of you i am definitely getting the mirroring through each other as well okay like you're really mirroring each other the energies um you know, making the same choices and you see yourselves in one another. Lots of similarities. They might see that as well. Since we're asking what they're thinking and feeling, they might see the similarities between you. Be bold and make the first move. Ooh, so they're wanting to be bold, okay, and make the first move. Well, I definitely feel like they want to come toward you here. Um, and really discuss their emotions, really release those emotions um, and tell you how they're feeling. We have truth be told as well. So they're really wanting to speak that truth about how they're feeling. Okay, let's get some message cards out too. For crystal number two, let's see what comes through today. We did a message card reading yesterday for any of you guys that watched that one. Let's see if maybe your person is still telling you the same things or if their energy has shifted. Let's see for crystal number two. I pray you will give me a second chance. So this is for some of you that maybe it's a reconciliation, a coming back together. Okay. Um, they're praying for a second chance. So there might've been the disconnect. What else for crystal number two? What would that person like to say? What are they thinking and feeling? 
Always have faith I will return to you. Mm, yeah, for some of you, there's definitely a disconnect, okay? Separation of sorts, and it's falling right over the divine feminine there. So always have faith that I will return to you is your second message out. What else for crystal number two, please? What would that person like to say? I want to share my life with you. So really wanting long-term and commitment. They're clear on that, falling right over clarity. Well, they're definitely clear. They want union. Union out twice. Celebrating that love. Really working together with that two of fire. No one loves me like you do. So your love is very special. They feel different in your presence. Your love feels different. What else for crystal number two? I think about you all the time. Yep, definitely. I felt that already. Yeah, definitely feel like they think about you a lot. What else for crystal number two? What is their person thinking and feeling? What would they like to say? We have a flipper. I love you as you are. Nice. Oh, and it fell almost right in place. Ooh, and it fell right over emotions. Yes. They want to tell you they love you. They love you as you are. Beautiful. What else? I am hopelessly devoted to you. Yeah, you're the only one for this person. You are their person. They feel like this could be the one, you know, so many energies of that. They're devoted to you at the heart space, okay? Let's see. I had to resolve things in my life before I could come forward. Yeah, there was that kind of like that compromise thing, whatever that was for some of you, okay? Um, I had to resolve things. So they had to resolve something before they could come forward. And that might just be for some of you as well, okay? All right, crystal number two. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the black obsidian crystal, and the hero card, this will be your reading, okay? Crystal number three. Oops. This one doesn't want to sit up there. <laughs> There we go. So what I got with this card for you um, right away, crystal number three, was that they're the hero. They're really wanting to protect you, okay? And they're also wanting to be honest with you. So they're wanting to tell you something. Be honest. Could be about their feelings. Could be about something that they're going through. Couple different messages there. So, but they're definitely very protective of you. They want to keep you safe. This person cares about you a lot. Okay, let's see. What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three, please? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three? What are they thinking and feeling for crystal number three? Whoa, emotions. Yeah, wow. It definitely could be about their feelings for some of you definitely I was feeling it with this one already but now with the emotions card definitely feeling they have a lot to say they want to be honest this could be someone who denied feelings mm, or just hasn't even you know expressed any feelings at all like this could be someone that you you're unsure like you're uncertain you know you're like I don't know if they care about me or if they don't or yeah I'm feeling like for some of you it's like a you're just uncertain you're, you're unsure so they could be of they could have denied you know or not said anything at all just kind of acting like they're a friend or something you know like maybe it's a friend that's really interested in you crystal number three what are they thinking and feeling for crystal, thank you. For crystal number three. Ooh, ace of water. What? All right. Wow. This person's in love with you. This is big, beautiful emotion. Heart overflowing with love. Wanting a new start in love. Ooh, this is big. 
this is big crystal number three i'm really liking this so far for you guys let's see what else for crystal number three so that's a new beginning in love a new start a new relationship starting doesn't mean new start meaning someone coming back it just means a new start a new phase you know um so it could be somebody coming in asking you out you know like someone that you were unsure if they even liked you possibly for some of you not coming through pretty strongly so let's see what else for crystal number one what is their person thinking and feeling and if I call the cards the wrong names, please forgive me. These This deck is absolutely beautiful, um, but it is a lot different than the traditional tarot. And it took me a couple months to connect, okay? And I read intuitively, so I had to connect. Some of the messages connected from the book, and some of them did not, but that's okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh. So they see you as very self-loving. Um, they see you as very beautiful, um tapped in intuitive hmm yeah very self-loving you're sending off some pretty uh high vibrational energy toward this person right now they're feeling very drawn to you this can also mean that they're working on themselves as well okay with that self card coming through i'm feeling like maybe they're feeling like a lot of self-work um inner work maybe even outer work for some of you it may be even something to do with fitness okay coming through so they could be um you know like going to the gym or something like that really working on self so let's see what else for crystal number three why the hero definitely feeling like they wanted to be honest with you um they want to protect you they care very deeply so let's see what this is about the hero please for crystal number three why the hero we have two here four of water and nine of air okay yeah it still takes me a minute to figure out which one's a witch in this deck so um, so the four of water and the nine of air. So they may have had anxiety about speaking their truth, okay? Their emotions. They have a lot buried deep beneath the ocean here um, in them, okay? A lot wanting to come out. Nine of, nine of um, air here, or swords. Nine of air, nine of swords. I feel is them really gaining some sort of clarity on it i see that third eye open there okay so i feel like they gained some clarity on their emotions actually it's funny because both of these cards have like the third eye here and there as well so i feel like yeah it's finally connecting okay is what i feel they're finally connecting with their emotions they might have been stuck in their mind for quite some time and they may have really been overthinking things, having a lot of sleepless nights, but they I feel with that nine of air, they've gone inward, um, a lot of healing. And now they're really connected to their emotions. Hmm. Let's see what this emotions card, yeah, let's see what this is about here. The crystal number three, what is their person thinking and feeling? I feel like a lot of this is buried beneath the surface though. Wow, yeah, see? They've gotten very wise. They could have even enlisted help from the counselor here. Okay, someone very important in their life that maybe they confided in. Um, you know, like what to do or how do I handle this? Feeling like they might have enlisted some help. So they may have been feeling, like I said, over anxious about it and really trying to figure it out for quite some time what to do about it like maybe you're someone like i'm feeling i don't know that for someone here there's definitely they're not they haven't expressed you don't even know that this person is feeling this way um they could be like i said a friend or someone that you know and it could be i'm getting almost like a forbidden love kind of energy like they're they're afraid because of something or someone maybe it's like you know a friend of your ex or you know something like that 
it's a strange like forbidden love almost type of energy so maybe one of you is in a relationship or married or something like that where by society's standpoint it would be like forbidden you know something okay let's see what else for crystal number three what are they thinking and feeling crystal number three's person what are they thinking and feeling six oh nice so we have the six of air so on the ace of cups oh, ace of water um so yeah they're wanting to move forward they um i feel like they're very connected now yeah look at this i feel like that rainbow here is like all of their chakras are aligned the rainbow is you know up to the divine connection right through the crown chakra they've really done a lot of inner work um could have been with someone else like a coach even something mm. but yeah they're wanting to move forward this is also i feel the divine assistance helping to move this forward so someone even if the whoever this help is i feel like they could have been put in this person's path for a reason okay self yeah this beautiful energy they feel like you are extremely self-loving beautiful magnetic um, confident and they're also for some of you they're working on themselves as well and i felt something to do with um physical could be internal as well with meditation but i felt like a physical um transformation like the gym or something like that as well the maiden wow so independence they see you as very independent youthful strong independent walking your own path like yeah you're just very beautiful and vibrant in this person's eyes very nice and king of fire at the bottom i feel like they're very passionate about you with me seeing that card there feel like they're extremely passionate about you they got a lot of love but there's a lot of deep fiery passionate energy within this person as well especially like even with this card here all of this emotion is kind of really wanting to come to the surface all right let's get some oracle cards here for crystal number three what is that person thinking and feeling we have two Oh, I have to look at them. Whoops. Okay. Yep. Nope. They're both safe. Okay. <laughs> First one out. Beautiful dove with a, with a sun back there. I feel like you make them very happy. New beginning. Yes. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So like I was saying here, it could be someone new beginning. It might just be a new cycle for some of you. Someone brand new coming in, asking you out that you don't even know has feelings for you possibly. For others, it could be a new beginning, meaning someone coming back to you with, you know, letting you know how much they care, you know, really, and romance. Yeah, beautiful. Really expressing emotion was what I was going to say. Um, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, this is brand new love possibly coming. Cupid's arrow has struck them and now they're really like they're pent up energy they don't know what to do with it and now they want to come forward and you know express and be honest with you very nice let's see what else for crystal number three <laughs> i didn't know if that second one wanted to flip out but it did so we'll take both of them Ooh, nice Ooh, very nice okay so for some of you yeah there's some sort of a date might be an overnight date is what I'm getting here. An overnight date. So maybe taking you away somewhere where you have to stay. Okay. Um, night magic and expression. This could be where this expression takes place. For some of you. Okay. Maybe it's a, a night magic and expression. It could be. Um, it could even be just a date at night. But for some of you, there's an overnight thing here coming through and this expression coming through with it. So that might be when this expression happens. Let's see what else for crystal number three. What is their person thinking and feeling? So they could be planning something. 
for some of you with whatever that overnight thing is. They could be planning something. What else for crystal number three? I make such a mess of this deck. This is my deck that I created and I love it, but I make such a mess because they're so like slippery and that one says clean slate and I'm going to take it only because of the way it fell um, out of the deck when I was showing you. I always have so much trouble putting this deck back because I make such a mess with it because it shuffles so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just had to share that with you. Anyway, clean slate. So for some of you, it could be, like I said, someone new coming in. But for some of you, it might be someone coming back to you because I was feeling that could be the case for some of you as well. And I wanted to shuffle and get one out here for you. We have omens and marriage. Whoa, okay. Whoa, yeah. So this person, yeah. They're looking at possibly long term here with you I mean this love is pretty big ace of water this is huge all this emotion and this hero instinct almost like you know that protector that guardian wanting to be open and honest with you really respecting you Mm. Yeah, omens and marriage. So they could be getting omens, uh, seeing signs, you know, that this is, you know, their person. Okay. Even if it's just somebody you know. Like, literally. It doesn't, you know, time, people make a big deal about time. It cracks me up. Sometimes you can have a deeper connection with someone you've known for five hours <laughs> than someone you've known for five years okay i'm just putting that out there time doesn't matter connection matters okay so someone feeling deeply connected to you is what i'm picking up here okay and that's the thing like some people are like you just met them okay <laughs> right that's okay and that's their opinion and that's okay and that's their belief system but looking beyond that, connection knows no time. Time is an illusion. This is the 3D. We're talking about soul to soul connection. Okay, so, and I feel like that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Okay, someone just knowing. And you might be, like I said, it might be someone that you don't feel like you know very much, but you feel that deep connection. And you don't know why, but it's probably because your souls know each other from maybe a past life or something like that. Crystal number three, what do we have here? Attuned to the divine. Yeah, I told you. Very connected. Very, very connected. And believing, okay? Having faith and assessing the situation. So that could have been, like I said, there were thoughts here, right? But now it's connecting. It's all connecting. The emotions are connected. So I feel like this is like kind of getting, how do you put it? Like the head and heart in alignment, okay? Is kind of what I'm feeling there. Which is a big thing. A big thing. Because the head, the ego, the mind, the fear, all of those things, the thoughts, negative thoughts, things like that, doubt, that can keep somebody stuck. Whereas once you get into the heart space, you're talking what the person is feeling. Feeling. Wow. Wow. These two together, very nice. Bearing fruit and roots of abundance. Whew. Two really big energies. So they're thinking and feeling long term. And they're thinking and feeling like now is the time. Bearing fruit. It's time to, you know, harvest this fruit. This tree is now blooming. So it's time. So this person is feeling um, very much ready is what I feel here. They're feeling more ready now. They may not have, like I said, this is, you know, energy is very, you know, fluid um, and it can shift and change really quickly. Um, but here they were definitely having anxiety and their head and heart weren't in alignment at some point with the nine of air. 
But then with the Four of Cups and the Nine of Air together, I was feeling like they came into some sort of balance. Okay. So, wow. All right, let's get more. For crystal number three, what is their person thinking and feeling? For crystal number three, what is their person? There we go. Ooh, breaking free. Mm, so breaking free from past thought patterns. This could be what this is about, okay? Really breaking free from negative thought patterns with that nine of nine of air. That's exactly kind of what was feeling here, right? Like they finally come into balance. They've overcome that challenge. They're now in line with their emotions. So that's good. For others of you, this could be a, a physical breaking free. Okay. So I, I don't really see any other energies of that right now. But for someone, this could be breaking free from something physically in their life. Mm, could be family. Mm. Forbidden love. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for some of you, yep, that could be why it's forbidden love. It could be a religious belief system. Could be a familiar type of belief system so a family type belief system marriage construct of humans right a belief system surrounding that like I said could be a, like a friend of a friend and somebody has that belief like oh you they went out with that person you can't do that what do you mean you can't do that <laughs> you know um, that's a belief system so I feel like that's what this is about. So for some of you, they could be in a situation like that. And that's why it's forbidden love. They could be in a situation where someone doesn't agree because of their religious beliefs or because of their family beliefs or marital beliefs or, you know, things like that. Society's belief systems. Okay. So I feel like that could be maybe what's kind of held this at a stop or a non-movement or you know stand still mm, interesting okay let's see what else that's right that did come through here <laughs> spirit reminded me there um but yeah no no necessarily cards but it did come through here relaxation nice so they want to relax <laughs> they feel like I feel like this person was really wound up tight at some point and they're feeling like this is now the time to relax they want to relax into this and kind of flow okay they're really tapping into divine energy to source energy and they're really just wanting to relax and go with the flow here they're wanting to flow their love right toward you with this here, um, the emotion and the hero card, especially. And the four of cups, nine of nine of swords. They're over that. I feel like they're getting over that. Community. Ah, okay. Yep. See, society's beliefs. I knew it. Never ending story. So for some of you, this is a round and round type of situation. This is someone coming back. This may have been a back and forth, hot and cold. Mm-hmm. Yep. First you're in, then you're out. First it's yes, then it's no. For some of you, this could be a twin flame we're talking about here. I feel like this is very hot and cold, twin flamey here with this card. Um, yeah, just being unsure, you know, of what's going on. Confusion. Community. Someone definitely in the community here. Um, so society belief standards uh, is definitely coming into play with that breaking free. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I can put that one there. Yeah, with the breaking free, I feel like for someone, it's about society's belief system. Okay, with this community card. Sorry, making a mess. Okay, let's get more for crystal number three, please. What is that person thinking and feeling? Wow, that was fast. 
adjacent possibilities yeah so they're opening up to more possibilities now okay they're really wanting more for themselves they're seeing the possibilities that life has to offer and they're feeling that pull they're feeling the pull to do more they're feeling a pull to achieve more to get what their heart desires okay um they're really wanting to embrace their emotions now I feel like they may have blocked themselves, like self-sabotaged themselves in the past by not speaking their truth. You know, like if they really liked you, let's say this is someone that you know and they really, really liked you and they wanted to be with you, but they never told you. Like, how are you supposed to know, right? You're not, it, it's, you're not supposed to just guess, I guess, you know? I mean, you could have maybe asked or something like that, but... Um, you know, it's like speaking for yourself though, right? So this person likes speaking for themselves saying, you know, and knowing that it's okay if you didn't feel the same way. It's okay. Like we all have, um, you know, things in life that we choose and, you know, it's okay if they said how they felt. The thing is a lot of times that's mostly, um, fearing like rejection or, you know, that the person isn't going to feel the same way, things like that. So there could have been a lot of fear that held them back, you know, but I feel like it was a lot of self-sabotage and now they're not. They're wanting to look at those possibilities for more because they know what they really want now. Oh, wow. Have faith in the union of hearts. Wow. Trust your faith in the situation, this card says. So they're feeling like they have, yeah, they're trusting the divine. This person, your person is really trusting in the divine plan is what I'm feeling here. And the union of hearts, they're really wanting to be with you. This is also a soulmate or twin flame reunion card, the union of hearts here. So a beautiful energy of two beautiful souls coming together. Um, in union, okay, being together harmoniously. So they're really feeling that that need, that want to be together, okay? That desire, they want to fill that desire of having this beautiful love in their life. Let's get more for crystal number three. The littlest blessing. Nice. So they're feeling extremely blessed to have you and grateful for you in their life. Very nice. Very grateful. Let's see what else for crystal number three. And so you guys know you get extra cards. Thoughts create your reality. Ooh, right. Tapping into universal flow. Let me. Sorry, I made a mess of this deck. I'm trying to put it back. There we go. Thoughts create your reality. Tapped into universal flow. And what I was going to say was I, I, I t pulled four extra cards of this reading that weren't even planned. But for crystal number one, I started shuffling them. And I'm like, oh, wait. All right, never mind. I'm going to take them anyway. So I ended up getting a bunch of extras. <laughs> so I have no idea how long this reading is, but whatever. Thoughts create your reality. This person's really tapped into universal flow, okay? And they're really realizing their own power, okay? Thoughts create your reality. They're realizing that now. So they need to get out of that negative mindset, right? The nine of swords where they were anxious, overthinking, and get into a more positive mindset. Start thinking about what they actually want, not what they don't want, because the overthinking is mostly, but what if, and what if, and oh my gosh, what if I do this? This is gonna happen. That's anxiety, that's not gonna get you what you want. You're focusing on what you don't want. So now this person has shifted their energy very good. So now they're co-creating and realizing their power. So very good. All right, let's get more. For crystal number three, what is their person thinking and feeling? So they're feeling pretty powerful, I have to say, <laughs> with that card. They're feeling pretty powerful. This card does not want to fall out, but there it is. Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Yes, loving it. Okay, so they are taking action toward expressing 
the loving colors of their soul. I love this card. Wow. I rarely use these couple of decks here, but I brought them out. I'm like, oh, I'm using a brand new tarot deck. Let's bring out some extra decks. Um, so yeah, wow. That's a beautiful message for you, Crystal number three. I love it. It's all over the place that they want to, you know, express those emotions. So it's just further confirmation, you know. What else for crystal number three? What are the person's thinking and feeling? Ooh, big time engagement. Look at that. Wasn't I talking about time? Was that in your reading, crystal number three? Time. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just an illusion engagement so they are thinking about the future they're thinking about long term for sure we had bearing fruit we had so many energies of roots of abundance solid future big big beautiful start with the ace of water so this is like a long term this person's looking at you for a long term commitment and that card says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment okay what do we have here? Grounding. Nice. So they're feeling very grounded. Okay. Very grounded, which is good. What else are they feeling and thinking? They're wanting to ground this in for sure. This connection. What else are they feeling? Love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So nice. What a beautiful card. Holding a heart there. So they are feeling that deep powerful love energy i love this reading so nice all right crystal number three what else what is that person thinking and feeling oops we have surrender surrender to the divine nice surrender to the divine so yeah i told you they they definitely are uh surrendered to the divine so they are going with the flow they're working they're co-creating they're feeling very powerful very nice so now let's get some message cards for you these were the four cards that i wasn't going to get <laughs> the ones that just came out and then i ended up getting them for the other reading so i included them for everyone all right let's see what messages would crystal number three's person like to give to them today what are they thinking and feeling and what would they like to say i oh, think i have a flipper nope i lied <laughs> not intentionally but i thought i had one what are they thinking and feeling they would nope yep we have a faller so that one works <laughs> i have loved you from the moment i laid eyes on you Mm, love at first sight very nice beautiful they felt that connection what was i talking about i'm telling you they felt that connection doesn't matter how long that was a split second and they were like whoa right whoa crystal number three what else what else would crystal number three's person like to say what are they thinking and feeling? There we go. Oops. I kept distracting myself to act like I didn't care. Mm, yeah, see, I'm, I feel for some of you that this person is in your presence at times and just acting like they don't care. You know, like they're not showing that emotion. So you're uncertain. You're like unsure. You're like, I don't know. Maybe they like me you know it's one of those things so they might be like i said a friend or something like that and then they're just kind of like acting like a friend so you're you have no idea that these feelings are beneath the surface this is what we talk about looking deeper because the ego the fear is what keeps them from telling you <laughs> okay and now they're like i want to tell them I want you for the long term. I knew it. Yep, absolutely. Look at it. It's falling right on the ace of water. And then we have one more on my computer here. I feel your presence with me always. So very connected energetically. Mm hmm. Nice. Feeling your presence. Yeah, I definitely feel for some of you. It could be a, you know, divine counterpart we're talking about. 
always have faith that I will return to you. Yes, we had have faith come out here too. It's falling right beside it. So they're having faith. They're feeling that faith. So they're hoping that you do too. And that I will return to you. So that's for the other people that I said they might be coming back or this might be a new person. Well, this is for those of you that they're coming back. Someone coming back into your awareness. Um, no flipper. Wow, I thought I had a flipper again. What else for crystal number three? Whoa, whoa. Now I got all three at one time. <laughs> that was crazy. All right, let's take them one at a time, though. We have, you will be hearing from me soon. Okay, so this person really wanting to reach out and communicate. Absolutely. I pray you will give me a second chance. For those of you that this person may be returning and you make me feel so young <laughs> i love it look where it's fallen i have to i have to pull it out what did i say they felt you were young and vibrant right and then you make me feel so young and alive okay so your young vibrant beautiful energy makes them feel the same way so that is absolutely beautiful all right, crystal number three. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.